Good morning. Uh, today, I'm meeting up with Kevin right now from Catch and Cook, California. And the plan is to go diving uh, in the harbor in Half Moon Bay. We've been talking about going diving for months now. And we haven't done it, but now finally we're going to do it today. The visibility is probably going to be pretty bad. Um, but that's all right. I just want to get start diving. Uh, I want to get into free diving, so he's going to be showing me how to do that. He has 20 plus years of experience free diving and spear fishing, so yeah, he's going to be the man to show me uh, how to get that done. All right, so more diving videos coming up soon after this, too. Let's go, let's go meet up Kevin. I got that YBS. Here we are, right here, we're all suited up. Ready to go. Kevin's with me now. Uh, let's see how this goes. Visibility, what do you think? It's what looking like see? maybe between two and four feet. I'm thinking around three right now, mm -hmm. but the tide is going out. We've got a minus tide later, so that's usually gonna decrease the visibility. Okay. So hopefully it's good enough. If you can see the end of your arm, uh -huh. that's good enough for getting a lot of stuff. So. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Can, just to let you know, I can hold my breath for like a solid, 67 seconds. Oh, sweet. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I have a lot of time under there. Let's we'll see what we can get at the surface. Hey, rule number one, don't do what I'm doing right now. Absolutely never turn your back on the ocean. Luckily, this is the bay, so I'm not worried about it. But on the other side, we've got like six foot swells. And uh, so, yeah, you just always want to be watching. Uh, I think it was two weeks ago, um, a, a couple was up in Humboldt and the guy got knocked off the rocks, hit his head got swept out to sea. The wife swam after him. She got kicked back over and over with uh, wave action. And she she made it back, but he didn't, he died. So this is like a very, very real hazard for. So always carry a knife because you could get caught up in the fishing line. If you do get caught up, the first thing you wanna do is just flip your weight belt and that'll skyrocket you to the surface. So that's all I'm gonna talk about right now. We can all talk right. about more later. All right, sounds good. <laughs> So you can see here as I search between the rocks, under the rocks, and even going out into the open, searching and searching, covering as much ground as possible, but with no luck, we found absolutely nothing. My GoPro had died halfway through the dive. We dove for a total of about two hours, and all we really found were a ton of seashells, like this scallop shell here. So we decided to call it and head in. And you can see Kevin here as he starts to head in. He have taken his fins off and starts to walk in. But I was reluctant to give up, so I kept searching and searching, and I actually found something. So I called him over to check it out. And I told him to grab his GoPro so we can get a couple shots of it before I caught him. And this is what we found. A large predatory sea snail called the moon snail and if you've never seen it before it's basically a giant snail check out the size of this thing look at that awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Got it>. hell yeah <laughs> just getting out of the water like skunk and look at this taku found it in like two feet of water <laughs> yeah All right, so we just came back from diving and I got one moon snail. Uh, didn't see any fish at all. And we saw one 
a Dungeness crab, but it was too small. And that was about it. Didn't see anything else. And we're gonna eat this moon snail today. Let's see what it tastes like. I want him to come out of the shell, so I'm gonna put some salt water in this bucket and just let it chill out for a little bit. And I think it might come out. And if it comes out, I think we can just shuck it real quick. Um, and that's how we're gonna try to do it. I mean, I got the whole foot out, I think, but all it, it's left in there, I think it's just the guts. When the foot is out, you see how big it is? It's literally like covering like this. And now the foot is contracted. It's kind of, I'm thinking it's, it might be kind of tough this way, but let's see. I think I'm gonna just uh, cut this off and do a little vinegar marinade for maybe five minutes and I'm gonna slice it for sashimi. Oh, oh and by the way, moon snails legally, um, to be able to, to harvest moon snails, you have to be south of the Golden Gate Bridge and we're in Half Moon Bay right now. So we are definitely south of that and legal to harvest five moon snails per day per person as long as you have a fishing license. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. I don't know, I have a feeling it's gonna be good. So we were going to eat this sashimi style, but I think there's parasites on this thing. You see that? See the red? See that? The red stringy things. So we can't eat this sashimi. As long as you fully cook it, safe to eat. Alright, let me go get uh, my pan. I don't want to... I don't want to get too crazy on it, that it just turns turns into mush. I want to leave a little texture on there, at least. I think it's about done, man. Just want to get that. Make sure they're all cooked. The butter has enough salt in that I don't, I'm not even going to salt it. Go ahead, man. Take a piece. Sweet. I think that's going to be the toughest one, probably. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Take it. Take a piece. Get in there. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for taking me out diving today. My really pleasure. appreciate it. It was yeah. fun. It's always fun hanging out with you, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try it. I like it. Yeah. The flavor's awesome. The flavor, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's a little tough and chewy, but you get through it and it tastes delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't tell exactly what it tastes like, but there is something familiar. Right. I just, I want to, I want to figure out what it tastes like because yeah. it, it totally tastes like something. It tastes like, it does, it really does. It's pretty close to a clam. It is. Has a mild clam taste. I don't know what else. Maybe something else too. I like it. It's good. I like it, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, I like it too. I'll go for it again. I catch my limit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Next time you gotta dive too. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. The more I eat it, it gets like better and better. Unlike the, unlike the ghost shrimp. <laughs> 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 but no, this no, that's it. We are we're out. Dang, I want more now. Yeah. I know. I really wanted to try sashimi. I know, dude. Oh man. I, I was totally looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yep. But hey, we, but we still got, got it. What we came for, right? We did. Like that yeah. was the mission, and we made <laughs> yeah. it happen. Uh, yeah. I didn't say in the beginning that we're going for moon snails, um, but that was our goal coming here today. Uh, me and Kevin, we were like talking about catch and cook moon snails because we'd never seen anybody else do it, and so we wanted to try it. We wanted to try what the moon snail tasted like. We came out here, got it done, last minute catch. <laughs> You'll be seeing more spearfishing videos soon. I want to get good at spearfishing, free diving. Yeah, I really want to do that. Uh, if you haven't seen him, check him out. Catch and Cook California. His name's Kevin. And also uh, another guy, Martin, that runs the channel. It's good stuff. If you like, if you want to learn something about the outdoors, he's the man. He's got the knowledge. Thank you. He's got the knowledge. <laughs> man, even a lot of bushcraft, if you guys are into that. He's, he does all that. What did you start that one fire with? Um, like a scrub, the metal <laughs> scrubby thing? Yeah, a battery and some steel wool. Battery, yeah, battery <laughs> and steel wool. Damn, that like was... a little survival case if you guys need. Yeah. I really wanted to see someone drink from the condom though. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> my brother and I were like, I don't know if we're gonna do this. <laughs> we do, we gotta film this. <laughs> I was like, thumbs down for not drinking out of the condom. <laughs> can't do it. Immediately I was like, I am not thirsty anymore. <laughs> no, don't know what we're talking about. So go check out the channel. Uh, Catch and Cook California. <laughs> All right, well that's it for today. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. I still it can't was put my good. I agree. There's a clam flavor, but there's, you know what it kind of reminds me of is the giant keyhole limpet we did. With oh yeah? The yeah, I haven't had that. Dude, come down south. Yeah. Like that, yeah. It's, I think that's what it is. Yeah? I, I kept being like, ah, oh, I've had something like this before. Yeah. And I think that's it.